morning guys welcome to the studio so today I'm filming from a di very different angle usually you're over here on this side of the table looking this way but we have a very long canvas here I'm working today on a 12 by 36 and I'm gonna do this in my pearl pour uh, style but I want to go a little bit more minimalistic with this, or at least try, because I tend to love using color. So we'll see if I can do manage that today without ending up doing what I usually want to do and tilt the whole thing. So what I want to do is have more negative space in here at the top of it and here at the the bottom of it so I mostly want to take the color through the center so I'm gonna actually do this a slightly different way today and I'll see how it works because I haven't done this before but I want to see how these paints will work out in a traveling ring pour and we're going for um, a very earthy type look today. So I'm going to go over the colors. We're doing it on just my white base with satin enamel. It's got um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in there. Satin enamel, GAC 800, um, Liquitex Gloss Pouring Medium, and Water to Thin. Uh, I'm not going to go over the exact amounts with this, but I will have the recipe in the descriptions if you want to check that out after. Please feel free to do that. The colors I'm using, none of these have satin enamel in them. So I'm using, this is Burnt Umber by Liquitex Basics. And they're very, uh, very thin down. There's a lot of water in them, so when I drizzle the paint off my stick, it just goes right back in. There's no mounds. I'm going to use now this color here. I just kind of made myself. This one has a little bit of satin enamel in it, so it was carbon black, and I added some satin enamel in this because I had used this as a base. So, and then I added more pigment to it, but it's still, it's kind of like a, a charcoal gray. So we'll see. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use that, which is why it's in this teeny tiny cup. And then we've got Burnt Sienna by Liquitex Basics. We've got Grumbacher's Hooker's Green. We've got Prussian Blue by Golden. You see that? See how it just runs right, right back in? I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's there's no bound to that. And then we've got Golden's Elizabeth and Crimson. And we've got Golden's Gold. Um, this is bright gold fine. Always have to think about that. And we've got Golden's Naples Yellow. So those are going to be the colors that we're using today. And we'll see what this traveling ring pour. I'm not sure if a lot of times what I do is I'll say one thing and then sort of do another, which I apologize for that. It's however, when I start pouring, what speaks to me. If I change it, of course I'll say, well, I was going to do this, but now I'm going to do this. So often it just kind of works out to what the paint wants to do. Sometimes the paint does the talking. So all of the recipes for the base and the colors will all be in the description. Really the only difference is the consistency is the same in both, for both 
the difference is, is the base has satiny enamel and the colors do not. So I'm just using straight from the bottle some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. So this just puts a little bit of a tacky base on that because those paints are so thinned down that they really run. So that helps the paints have something to stick to. So later today, I'm going to be doing another paint like I made a lot of white today already, so I'm going to be doing another painting today with um, two color base, and on that one I will show how I mix the color base. Okay, first we're going to lay this down, and we've got a little cup ready to go. I may have spots of being quite quiet because this one here I'm actually really, really thinking about, so.
Today just feels to be one of those very quiet days. It's raining here today, kind of a mix of snow and rain and great day to paint. You could actually just do this all day long. Don't have to be anywhere. And I'm just in one of those moods where it's like if it needs to be done, it can wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to actually layer this cup today. Just gonna start with a little bit of white. yellow. So today I'm really going to try to control the amount of paint that I lay down on the canvas because normally I don't worry about that too much. Thinking, thinking, thinking. All right, so I put some a little bit of white, a little bit of Naples yellow, then I put some gold. Here, I'll try to move this over here. And then I'm gonna put some. Now it's hard to control this a little bit because these paints are so runny that they just go whoosh. And I don't wanna say oops today. I'm gonna try to refrain from saying oops, that wasn't the plan. So the way I'm going to do this is just take it right along the edge of the cup. So it just goes in there a little bit. I'm going to do two layers. So that was the hooker's green. This is the uh, burnt sienna. I was going to put, that's okay. I'm not doing it today. Some burnt sienna. And then do I want to go with next to that? Some of the umber. And then I'm gonna do try this. We'll see what this looks like. This is that charcoal gray color. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold. Well, a little bit being the key word. And some crimson.
Prussian blue. Sorry, mind change. So I'm trying to keep some light colors in between the darks. There we go. That is gonna be good. All right. Let's see how I pour this. Apologies for being so far away right here. So what I ended up doing because the color was so dark right at the beginning is I come back around with the ring pour and then I come back through the center and luckily as you'll see right here the light the white and the uh, Naples yellow really come through right through the center. So that's what's going on right there. So this that I'm using right here does have satin enamel in it. I'm just using some of the base color. I poured it into the bottle. So we'll see how that looks. So just for some further clarification, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of injecting it in and as I'm pulling out, I'm squirting the satin enamel and base mix. So being that this is such a long canvas, we're going to go down to this edge sort of first.
I just want to make a quick apology for the tilting and not being able to see too much of it. Unfortunately, this canvas was so long that it was really, really hard to keep in any type of frame. So I brought it down over this edge. Now I can just get it. So for composition, I'm really, really, really working on it here. With this being such a long canvas, it's interesting. Right here, I'm really, really loving that feathery effect. Pop it. Holy, are those ever pretty colors. So that actually worked out really well. I am super pleased with the composition, how it's kind of coming down and whoosh and back down this way. I got some edges to clean up. But I really liked it because when I was first doing it, there was so much green that had come out that you'll see that what I did was I was doing the, the ring pour, doing the ring pour, and then I came back with it to break up some of that green a little bit. And that was where all of the white was. Now that white that I put into the cup has satin enamel in it because all I did was took some of my base color and I put it in the bottle here and that's what I was using to go in and around and you know just put it inside a little bit and drag it back out. I absolutely love this piece. I'm actually really excited. There's a little bit of the browns here and there's some of the, you can see some of the red actually because I put the white in there, it turned pink and that's awesome because I love that, how it's kind of mixing red with pink, with green, with the, the burnt umber and the sienna and there's some gold in there and for a little bit of sparkle, all of this cloudiness is really, really working on this piece. I love this. So what I'm going to do is let this develop a little bit. You can see these cells happening here. They're really pretty. And we'll see what we get for cells as they develop. And um, so I'm gonna put you on pause for a couple minutes and I will bring you down for a close up. Hi guys, we're back. It's been about 15 minutes. Everything is developed through it that's going to develop. So this was an interesting piece because it's the first time that I've done one that's quite this big. But I'm going to say I love how it turned out. I love the minimal cell action. I love how the color blend. And all in all, I'm really pleased how this turned out. 
So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.